Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do the slant crochet stitch pattern. For this pattern, you'll just need to know how to do a single crochet. If you need help with that, you can check down in the description below on my videos of how to do that. So to get started, you want to chain multiples of four plus one. For this video, I'm just doing a quick five chains. So for row one, you just want to chain one and single crochet all the way across to the end of the row. Super easy. All right, we're gonna turn our work and chain one. And for row two, we're just going to single crochet again all the way until the end of the row. All right, for row three, we are gonna chain one and turn our work. And we're gonna single crochet in the first three stitches. Our next stitch will not be in the, in the one that follows, but it'll actually be three stitches back from the previous row. So you'll see where that gap is from the previous row that you've crocheted in. Right there. So we're just gonna insert our hook and do a single crochet so it's a yarn over pull through and then pull through for a single crochet. And the key to this is you wanna make sure that you don't pull it too tight. And then we'll follow off by doing a single crochet not in the stitch. It's more like you s skip a stitch. So row four is you just chain one and single crochet all the way across. Row five is exactly the same as row four. You chain one and single crochet all the way across. Now the repeat for this pattern will be rows two through five. So I'm gonna show you how to do this one more time. We are going to chain one. we're going to single crochet all the way across. Next we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches just like before. That next stitch will always be unfinished. We will never crochet in that one. You instead, you'll crochet in the row below, three stitches back. And once you do enough of these, everything will start lining up a lot better and it'll get faster to do. So it's a single crochet all the way back there. And again, make sure that you don't pull your yarn too tight. And then we don't single crochet in that one, but we'll single crochet in the next one. And that is how you do a slant crochet stitch pattern. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and I really do hope that you have a happy crocheted day.